Hi there. I've not played in a long, long time. Mainly because I found it really a, a nice challenge that built up over the game. Just because there was a couple of levels that I just couldn't do. So we're going to have a go at it again. Fighting game. Pretty good. And it's authentic to the show. Here we go. We received disturbing sensory calls from a Class 5 probe and sent to the nearby Titan system. I'm relaying to Starfleet the visual data gathered by the probe before it was destroyed. The 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 b b b b Borg. They're back. Captain Picard. A force of war warships are currently passing through Klingon space on course for Sector 001. Earth. The Federation is assembling a flotilla of warships to need to delay the war while we marshal our forces. Lieutenant Commander Warp will brief the elite of the Starfleet pilots aboard the USS Titan, a mobile, mobile outpost of carrier starship. Pilots, as of this starting, you are assigned to the Valkyrie Squadron aboard the USS Titan, capable of launching 26 Valkyrie class ships. So it's a game that's very much of the post first contact sort. I think it was released a year or two after first contact. The Borg are back once again. And um, we've got fighters for some reason, space fighters, obviously because it makes more interesting game. Training will begin immediately. Uh, training, I think we're going to... Mm, will we do training? Yeah, just for the completion's sake. If I get through this whole thing, it'll be pretty amazing. But I am going to play it until I can't be bothered anymore. Be that one episode or not. It's got the classic... Um, um, what do you call it? Uh, difficulty block, whereas you put it on the easiest setting, you can't get past a certain point. So we're just going to leave it at the standard setting, which I think is a uh, uh, difficulty uh, ensign. Yeah, I think we just leave it on that one, and, and we should be able to progress quite far. Uh, okay, um, we can just leave all that and start the game. So we start off with Worf on the USS Typhon, but we do meet Captain Picard again later on. There's lots of Romulans, lots of Borg, lots of things. Okie dokie, so raw recruits. Yes, we should do the training mission. Thank you very much. I am Lieutenant Commander Worf, and I will be your tactical officer for the duration of this operation. I will assess your performance throughout your tour of duty and instruct you on the use of weapon systems and helm control. I hate tutorials. But give, I'm going to skip this. Uh, I say I hate tutorials, but given that I do find this game extremely difficult, I'll be taking part in this one. Okay, I'm going to stop the video for a second. You know what, I'm just going to change it. I'm playing this on a PlayStation Classic Mini, and I don't like the resolution. So, I'm going to give it a little bit of a boost. I have got the original copy of this game. Um, but this is on the PlayStation Mini because we can get it in HD. There's a couple of things you need to do. Um, the optimal speed for PAL games, because this is ripped from my PAL CD, is 70 on the, uh, the clock menu there. It's not important, only for those of you who want to mod your PlayStation Classic but it makes it look a little bit better and run a little bit smoother. So we've got the Enterprise helping us out in Picard in our training mission. Holographic asteroids. This game is so good looking for a PlayStation 1 game. Let's see if I can figure this out. Uh, forward, back, double tap for speed either way. I think it's, yep, X for torpedoes. Uh, cross for uh, disruptors, sorry, and phasers. Select for view, yeah, uh, but this is one game where I don't recommend the cockpit view. Um, I usually always go in the cockpit view, but not this time. You need your peripheral vision.
okay, it's because it's very actiony, very on Star Trek in its gameplay. However, I think it salvages it um, with its uh, graphics and aesthetics, and it's it's not a reflection of Star Trek's finest era, uh, as in the um, first Contact uh, and post TNG era, movie era, but it's Star Trek enough. And I can't remember much about the story, so I'm looking forward to finding that out. And you know what I think is wrong with this as well? I'm using a... Um, I've ripped the game from a PAL disc, obviously, and I think the game's set to um, uh, American... Um, what do you call it? NTSC, so it's running too quickly, so I'm just going to change that as well. And it should run at a normal space and be a little uh, pace for, for the UK system and be a little more controllable. You notice it frame rates lowered to 25 frames a second now as well, but that's just the way it is. That's the way we had it. Don't think I'm doing very well here. Ah, shit. Is that Major Barrett? Don't think it is, is it? Okay. Right, sorry, this isn't very fun. Yeah, I should have skipped the tutorial. Oh, goodness me. Okay, we don't want to ruin this. Okay, hold uh, circle plus left and right to change primary and secondary weapons. Easy peasy. Okay, this isn't great, but if I survive it, I'll be happy. It is extremely twitchy, this game. Even running at what we had as the normal speed for it. Because as I understand it, the uh, the American version would have run a little bit faster uh, faster than the PAL version. Yeah. Actually, I'm thinking if Cockpit View might be better for this. Again, I've not played it properly in a long time, so many apologies. Oh, I'm at the end anyway. First objective complete. Well done, Cooper. You're more than welcome, Mr. Wolf. Nice soundtrack. Right, exercise. Tow uh, each cargo pod through each, its respective training ring. Easy peasy. Select tractor beam. Where is my tractor beam? Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, so that was a yellow one, wasn't it? Let's find the yellow ring. The radar's not so great on this. It looks like I'm actually on top of the ring already. Uh, and I am. Okay, again, third person view for me, thank you. Is that it? Okay, maybe I didn't pick up a yellow one. Okay, now I'm bothered. Let's check this out. Let's see what I picked up. Oh, green. Yellowy green. Is that right? No, because that one's not flashing, is it? Okay, this is a pain in the balls, and I haven't got long left to do this. So it's definitely a yellow one. Why wasn't I picking it up? Is the way to look behind me? Ah, right, it liked that. Fair enough. And the red one. Yeah, you have to be going in a straight line to guarantee that the the pod's going to go through the ring. Okay, 11 seconds will I make this? I've got one more, so no! Oh, I might do. Jesus, settle down, Wolf. I think that's enough training, to be fair. Let's go and do this main mission. I might even cut this part of the video out, because it's boring. Okay, that's enough training, Mr. Wharf. We'll just assume that we passed another time. You have not a level. Okay, so we don't need to do mission one. It doesn't look compulsory to me. Or maybe it does. Let's just go to mission two. Mission, mission a Rodderman combat group has launched a number of unprovoked attacks on Federation shipping in the Zeria system. 
near the neutral zone. A patrol force of 10 Valkyries will be dispatched to investigate. Each of you will fly in a two-ship formation and report any contact with Romulan vessels immediately. So a proper mission now involving strange Romulan activities. So we're on a patrol. This is where some action's actually going to happen. We've already come across some Romulan fighters. Six of them. A quite a nice design, actually. I wish they were bigger, like scaled up rather than just fighters. Romulans are charging. The Romulans are charging their weapons. They are preparing for combat. I won't do any more impressions of war for anyone else. Maybe I'll try Patrick Stewart later on. Okay, we've got a handy lock button there, look. So the disruptors take the shields and they damage the hull. Or if we want to be clever, we can use phasers to drain shields and uh, torpedoes to destroy, uh, to hit the hull, I think. This is one of them games where to uh, fire repeatedly, like you have to keep tapping the X button, which hurts your thumb. However, I'm okay with that. I find it quite satisfying, and we've got more ships turning up. Okay. I think there's a charge. Oh, there's a charge thingy as well. Is that going to work? I don't know what it did. It's like a black hole or something. Whoa, okay, it's damaged me, I think. Right, let's get this... This fella. He's asking for trouble. I'm being chased. Ah. Just out of range for the lock-on. This is... This makes my life a whole lot easier. Just need to, uh... Come on. There we are. You guys can surrender at any time you like. Yeah, it's very similar to Colony Wars, and uh, there was another one called Blast Radius at the time as well. Space combat game. Uh, they were very similar. Colony Wars was better. Blast Radius was more action orientated, but it was still decent. I lost my target. There's not much left of him. Okay, let's finish this guy off. I feel bad. Not really. Oh, I got hit by some debris, I think, then. Come on! There is a way to maneuver a bit more effectively here. I can't remember what it is. Slow down? Decelerate? Yeah. And then accelerate. Who's left? Oh. Warning more vessels are. Oh, okay. Yeah, this happens a lot in this game. There are just waves and waves of an enemy. And I think I remember at a level above a planet that was just way too much for me. There, were, there was too many. And they just kept coming and coming, and I got bored. I think I had to defend a, a cargo ship as well, and it was just too much. So, I'm anticipating that being um, when I come across it, the moment where I stop this let's play. But that's not a given. Ah, come on, what's happening? I'm locked on, but not correct. Ah. Okay, I'm shooting my friend, I think. Is it my friend I'm shooting? Okay, she's on fire. I'm going to back off because I've accidentally... Uh, I've really hurt my wingman there. Yep, yeah, that was her. And what did she expect? I didn't even pass my training exam. 
I would not be flying alongside me. To vary its space, it's hard to tell who's who. And what's that? Okay, it wasn't good. That's what that was. Uh, some kind of mine. Okay, so they can leave mines. There's so many ships. And I hope this is actually an interesting video to watch, because it's pretty repetitive. I'm sure there's a boss turn up in a minute, actually. So hang in there, guys. It's going to get more interesting soon, I promise. Right. <sighs> Um, I've got much in oh, it's cloaked. Okay, they can cloak, right. But when they cloak in this, you can fire straight through them, which is annoying. Because if it wasn't... Yeah, she's not in good shape. And she's dead. Was that my friend that died? No, she's still in one piece, just about flaming off into the distance. Right, good last. well done. Okay, keep away from him. I've got this one, you back off. Okay, we're good. Ooh. Hello there. Do not force us to fight, Romulan. Stand down and explain your actions. Stop, stop me. You have violated the Treaty of Alderaan with your deceitful attacks on our ships. How could we, de we uh, violate the Treaty of Algeron? We don't even know what it is. Okay, so this is where the strafing is going to come in handy. Uh, the shields yeah, rather usefully change colours um, as you hit them. They get darker, they go from green to red. But these get... Oh, okay. Uh, we can take care of a couple of fighters while we're waiting for... The warbird to reappear. It is a warbird, isn't it? I've, I've, it's been so long, I keep forgetting my Star Trek terminology and lore. I think it's a warbird. Okay, where is it? Oh, I'm being targeted. There we are! Okay, that's not good because I'm too close. Let's see if we can do some damage to its shields. Okay, uh, I've done some damage to my shields. Let's forgive me, I've got a sore throat. I'm sure it's nothing. These guys need to stop. Ah, oh, bugger it. Okay, where's this Romulan warbird? Okay. Hull damage is critical. Oh god, this isn't going well. Just imagine if this is the end of my little let's play. I'm going to unleash every single torpedo I've got on it once its shields are gone. Because this is desperate. Okay, we've done it. No, we haven't. Ah! Now we've done it. Okay, is that going to be enough? Because I'm in trouble. Quantum torpedoes. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So were we. Sovereign class starship. Uh, seriously. Don't worry about it. This kind of thing happens all the time. Just ignore them. Okay, we'll leave that one at that 26%. Something to be proud of there. We'll leave that one here as it is. And we'll do some more. Thank you, and see you next time.